Good evening and welcome to Local News 8 at 10. I'm Linda Larson. Thanks for being with us tonight. We start with an update on the bizarre shooting incident at a campground in the West Yellowstone area. The Gallatin County Sheriff's Office says a group of people were shot at near the Whiskey Bay area on the north side of West Yellowstone. The three victims are from the area, a woman and two men. They were camping when they say a suspect they didn't know pointed a handgun at them, threatened them, and then shot multiple rounds into the ground. Police say the handgun was likely a 45 caliber pistol. No one was injured and the incident and the man took off in his truck. A massive law enforcement effort to find him so far has come up empty. Again, the suspect is still on the loose and the police need our help. They're looking for a white male in his late 30s or early 40s. He was last seen driving a silver Toyota pickup with Texas plates and a silver topper. We talked to the Gallatin County Sheriff Brian Guten, who says that if you do see him, do not attempt to make any contact and call 911 one immediately. The biggest thing that we want to get across to the people is if they see somebody driving a vehicle like that, uh, just call 911 and give us as much information about where that vehicle is, where it was heading, uh, if there were any other people in the vehicle, and just provide dispatch with as much information, but do not attempt to talk to that person or or even let them know that you're, you're uh, observing them and, and trying to call 911. Sheriff's deputies are still on the scene. Many people who were staying in the campgrounds the night of the shooting checked out today. And many folks who are now staying at those campgrounds tell us they're not terribly concerned. West Yellowstone Mayor Jerry Johnson happens to be in the area boating with his family. He tells us that law enforcement is doing a great job securing the area. He believes locals and visitors should still be able to go out and have some fun. Well, I, I think that I think that the community members uh, don't have really anything to worry about. I think law enforcement has done a great job taking care of the issue, and uh, I'm, I don't think that uh, the the perpetrator or whatever you want to call him, I don't think he's in the area anymore. And uh, uh, I think that they just go on with their daily lives and, and have a great time. We will continue to update you as more information becomes available. 